right, seventh graders, we are starting Introduction to Proportional Relationships. So a couple things we want to talk about before we start that, what a proportional relationship looks like in a graph and on a table. So in a graph, it's any points on the same line that goes through the origin zero, zero. Okay, make sure you're writing all of these words down as well in your notes. So what that means is basically it's any line, any straight line that goes through the origin zero, zero. The origin is down here on the graph. So it could be a flat line or a low line. It could be in the middle. It could be going up faster. Any line in here that is straight and goes through zero, zero is going to show a proportional relationship. Okay. And then on a table, if it's proportional, you're going to multiply the first number by the same thing every time to get the second number. Okay, so let's look at a table that is showing a proportional relationship. Let's say we have two, four, three, and six. What we're multiplying by, two times two is four, three times two is six. We're multiplying by two both times to get the second number, so that would be a proportional relationship. Um, a relationship that would not be proportional, let's say we have one and four, two and six. So we take one times four to get four, but we would take two times three to get six. Since we're not multiplying by the same thing, it's not proportional, okay? This would not be a proportional relationship this would be a proportional relationship. All right, let's look at some of that. 